Okay, class, hopefully this one will work, um, particularly the volume. I'm going to just show you a few tips. If you notice here, um, I have Buenos Aires, I have a 360 cities layer. I've got a polygon, the polygon tool being used and the path tool being used. I'm going to show you um, particularly these three items. Um, and 360, that could be regulated to images or any other layer as well. So I'm going to show you how I got these over here and how I'm going to use them. So first of all, say I'm taking my students to Buenos Aires. So we get in there and, and say I am wanting to, um, here I'm just going to take these off for now and I'll show you how I got them there. So I'm just right, right clicking to delete. Um, okay, so say I want to show them one of these 360 cities um, layers but not all of them because I want them to learn something very specific um, that meets the objective and I don't want them just messing or like wasting time going to a lot of different ones. Um, so say I want them to go to this one here so if I put my mouse over it and I right click for Max, it can be double click or control click. Say save to my places. And notice it comes up here. Now if it comes up somewhere that you don't want it, so it doesn't come up like directly b below Buenos Aires, you can just click and drag it over Buenos Aires and it'll pop up right below. Now notice how in my directions, um, on a PC it'll say uh, properties on a Mac it says get info so in my directions I say go to the 360 layer listed in the sidebar under this place mark um, or I could say go to the 360 layer um, 360 cities layer and I can give the name of it pergola and I'm not going to do all of it but pergola da, da, da. Um, so then my students know exactly which one to go to and the easiest way to get for them to get there is to just go to it in the sidebar, double click it, and it'll take them to that specific one. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Only if it has something to do with what I was trying to teach them. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go back to Buenos Aires and say you are wanting to wanting them to look at a specific um, gigapan photo. Well, let's see. Here, they might not have many gigapan photos. Okay, well, let's pretend again. Let's say you want them to look just at a photo. The photos aren't as good, but say we just have them put the photo layer on. Okay, look how many there are. That's way too many for third and fourth graders to have to sort through, especially if you're wanting them to learn something specific, which you do, you want them to meet the objective, then I would highly recommend it would be more effective use of the tool if you would actually sort through these pictures and find some that are that meet your standard, so meet your objective for the lesson. Once you find those, say this region here is full of pictures that would actually be really useful for my students to look at. So there are two things that I could do. One is I could take my polygon tool and I could create a space in which I can tell my students go to the space and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it a little bit more see-through. <clears throat> and I'm going to change it to the color, oh, let's do green. Um, oh, change it back down so you can still kind of see the streets. So I'm going to say go to the green circle. And so back in my directions, I'd say go to the green circle or whatever space you, um, whatever shape or space that you make with your polygon tool. Go to the green circle and find three pictures that 
that show you da, 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 da. so you know that meet this objective or help you answer this oops help you answer question okay so that's one way to do it another way to do it would be to zoom in closer to my images or closer to the area that I want my students to look at and actually create a path that goes from one place to the next or from one picture to the next so here I have my path tool and I'm going to double click they'll start here then they'll go here 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 okay and I'm just making a path to kind of show them follow this path to, and look at the pictures along the path I'm going to make my line a little bit wider so it's a little more obvious and again you can change the color of it um, over here say to red or orange okay so go to the orange path and look at all of the pictures along the way um, and anyway so that's that's another option I'm not going to put those directions in here for this example but you get the gist um, so those are my those are a few tips just to make your tour a little bit make your directions more clear and make it more effective and it also makes the use of this tool more efficient it doesn't take quite as long because you have you've already found the exact 360 cities thing that you are place that you want your students to go to you've put it over here for them you've given them a, a specific spot to look at the pictures um, and you can even if you want them to look at these so when I zoom out notice how some of them go away if you want them to look at these at this zoom then you just when you're back here at Buenos Aires um, you should actually zoom in to the place that you want your students to be at so kind of the view that you want them to see say, say this is what I want them to see when they go to Buenos Aires then I right click um, on Buenos Aires and I say snapshot view and snapshot view freezes it so that when they when you click say they're out here at first when you click on it it actually takes your students to that exact spot so they don't have to zoom or anything and you can tell them that in the directions they don't have to zoom or anything and it's exactly where you want them so now they just have six options for pictures um, you'd want to adjust your your um, path tool if this was the case so anyway I hope that helps